Master the art of feedback through study groups in English learning. Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on English language learning. Today, we'll be diving deep into an incredibly powerful tool that can enhance your learning experience, setting up study groups for collaborative learning. This is part of our series on strategies for seeking feedback. So, let's get started. You might be wondering, why should you consider forming or joining a study group? Well, there are numerous advantages. 1. Accountability. A group setting will help keep you accountable for your study time. 2. Diverse perspectives. Different people bring different strengths and viewpoints, enriching the learning process. 3. Immediate feedback. You can instantly give and receive constructive feedback, which is essential for rapid improvement. Creating a study group might seem daunting, but don't worry. Here's how to make it easy and effective. 1. Size matters. Aim for a group of 4 to 6 people. Any more, and it might become unwieldy. 2. Consistency is key. Schedule regular meetings, whether weekly or bi-weekly, and stick to it. 3. Set an agenda. Before each meeting, have a set agenda or list of topics you intend to cover. You've set up your group, so what's next? Collaboration. Here's how to make it work. 1. Active participation. Every member should actively participate. No one should dominate the discussion. 2. Focused feedback. When giving feedback, be specific, objective, and constructive. 3. Review and reflect. Take some time to summarize what was discussed and what feedback was received. In today's world, you don't necessarily have to meet face-to-face -to, -face to have a study group. 1. Virtual meetings. Apps like Zoom or Skype can help you meet virtually. 2. Shared resources. Use cloud storage for sharing study materials. 3. Online tools. Various apps can help track progress, set reminders, and more. Every group faces challenges, but don't let that deter you. 1. Commitment issues. If someone is not participating actively, it may be time to have a frank discussion or find a replacement. 2. Off-topic discussions. Keep chit-chat to a minimum. Remain focused on the learning objectives. 3. Time zones for virtual groups. Coordination can be challenging but find a time that works for most, if not all, members. So there you have it. Study groups offer a great way to enhance your English learning experience, provide immediate feedback, and offer a more diversified learning environment. We hope you found this video helpful and that you're excited to try out setting up your own study group. Until next time, happy learning!